looking for cash and prizes as we play Australia's richest game show, Let's Make a Deal! Now, here's the man to deal with, the smiling face from Punchbowl, the big dealer, the unbelievable Vince Soretti! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, gang, I've got to tell you, last night I had a nightmare that I was hosting a game show. Ah! <laughs> Here we are on Let's Make a Deal, the show with too much cash, too many prizes to give away, with a big deal worth how much tonight? Cole Mooney. Vince, tonight's big deal is worth $4,795. <laughs> A lot of money. Okay. It's time to do a deal. And you know what? I'm looking for a gentleman. A gentleman to make a deal. Who is it? Are you still a gentleman? You are indeed. Come on out here, Tiger. Your name is? Mick. And you are a <laughs> pirate. And you've got... Uh, does he speak? No. Okay, good enough. Well done. You, oh, you got it even. You got even Captain Hook. How does that fit on? Oh, that's <laughs> terrific. Like good for towing caravans and that sort of thing. All right, Mick. Now, I asked you if you were a gentleman, because in this game, I'm actually going to deal with a lady, and she's going to go before you. Whatever she doesn't take, you're going to get the remnants of. It's sort of like the prize that they reject makes this game the best. So I'm looking for a lady to deal with now. Who wants to do it? Let's do a deal. Come on over here. Yes, yeah, you. Oh, for me? It's Joe. Yes. Yes. Joe, uh, what exactly? Are you like a big uh, ear cleaner or something? What are you? I'm disguising myself. You're disguised as yourself? No, no, I'm a snowflake. You're a snowflake. Very nice indeed. Well, before you melt, Joe, let's do a deal. How about, count them with me, gang. $300. Hang on to that, Joe. You can keep that, or you can take the small box that Paula has here. And whatever you reject, this gentleman here who's letting you go first, will snatch away. So what's it going to be? The 300 or the small box? The box? The box! Oh, Joe, you said the box like it was going to explode. All right. Joe's taking the small box. Guess what you get, Mick? 300. Hang on to that for a, for a moment. And Joe, let's see what you're taking home, you little snowflake. It is a typewriter. Yes, Joe, this state-of-the-art electronic typewriter from Drummer will keep you tapping all day. Featuring the essential correction facilities and a dictionary from Drummer. Valued at $399. What a nice prize. Joe says she's never won anything in her life. Well, let's hope it doesn't end tonight. Joe, congratulations. She's got a great prize, a typewriter. Are you still feeling gentlemanly, Mick? Yep. He still is. Well, how about I deal with another lady while you stand back and reap the leftovers, as it were? Right, oh. All right, let's do a deal with you. Come on over here, let's do a deal. Oh, someone else cheered. Did you throw your voice then? How was that? We've got... Julie. Julie, you are... Carmen Miranda. I could have guessed. Very bright. If you're not watching in colour, boy, are you missing out on something. OK, Julie, time to do a deal with you. That's a great outfit. I'm going to give you $300 just for looking terrific. Now, Julie, do you want to hang on to that 300 or do you want to spend it on curtain number one? Whatever you don't want gets thrown over here to Mick, who's ready to pick up the crumbs. He's being a gentleman, letting you go first. What are you going to have, 300 or curtain one? Curtain. You want the curtain. I was looking at a lot of hot pink thick. You got another 300 there, Mick, cleaning up. All right, Julie, you got yourself curtain one. Let's have a look what Carmen Miranda's taking home, and it is silverware. Yes, Julie, this beautiful silverware set features eight different service pieces, including soup tureen, wine cooler, fruit bowl, and cake stand, crafted in Australia by Renown, valued at $1,484. Very nice prize indeed. Thanks for playing. Let's make a deal. Julie, give her a round of applause. All right. Mick, you chivalrous old gentlemanly cad, you. You've done very well for yourself. You've picked up 300 that the girls have thrown off. Now let's do a deal. You've got 600, 300 from each of those girls. Do you want to hang on to that with your big hook? Or do you want to wrap that big hook around the floor box that Paul is standing next to? What's it going to be, gang? I'll take the money. 
You want to keep the money? All right. A pirate and his treasure are very hard to split. Let's have a look at what you passed up in the big box there. It is a stereo. Yes, you'll love listening to the Sharp Advanced Hi-Fi Stereo System complete with CD player, surround sound and remote control. It's from Bingley and it's worth $1,550. A nice prize, but don't worry, Mick. Put the hook right there, mate. You've got 600 cash. That'll buy a lot of bottles of rum. Ha, ha, ha. The pirate got some cash. Back after this break. Matt's jealousy is getting worse. I just feel a little bit threatened, you know? I'm sure you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. And Glenn drops a bombshell. If the offer still stands, I'd like to take you up on it. I mean, move in here. Tonight at 7 in Neighbours. It's Pizza Hut's sizzling new 990 barbecue meat lovers pizza. Welcome back to Let's Make a Deal. I'm looking for a couple to deal with, a couple to deal with. Are you a couple? Yes, you two? Come on up and let's make a deal. All right, we've got... There's Carmen. Carmen and... James. James, are you really a surgeon? Yes. You are indeed. Oh, great. And Carmen, another pirate. Yes. Oh, there's actually, there's a couple, there's a couple. Of, hands up all the pirates. When we just dealt with the pirate. Another one over there. Another one, another one there. It's pirate night here. Okay. James and Carmen. Are you married, you guys? Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Well, you might need one of these. Have a look at the video wall because it's a new car. Yes, it's the Subaru four-wheel drive GL station wagon with outstanding versatility, durability and economy, plus the added luxury of carpet throughout. To provide the ultimate in driving pleasure, Subaru offers five-speed manual operation and power steering and the famous Subaru two-year 50,000 kilometre warranty. From Subaru, this is valued at $19,495. Nineteen and a half thousand dollar new Subaru. James licking his chops at the prospect of getting that car. Okay, very simple. That car tonight we are offering you for the unrepeatable price of seven dollars. How much? Seven dollars. I told you not to repeat it. <laughs> seven dollars. How are you gonna get that seven dollars? Very simple. Seven envelopes on the board here. In four of those envelopes is a two dollar note. In three of the others is a $1 note. If you can pick four envelopes and make at least $7, you get the car. At least, it doesn't matter if you make more, but if you get at least $7 from four envelopes, you can drive up in that car. But of course, it's all too hard, isn't it, eh? Why don't I just give you something you can take right now, like what we've got in the floor box? <laughs> an aquarium. Yes, this elegant aquarium will enhance your decor and be a beautiful home for your new pets. Holding 200 litres and including accessories plus fish from Pets World. It's worth $950. What do you say, gang? From Pet World, a little aquarium. You don't want a nine and a half thousand dollar car, do you? Yeah, I think we'll go for the car. They're going to go for the car. Okay, pick me four envelopes, guys. You want to pick two first, Carmen? Um... Four. Four and... and uh, two, please. Four and two, she has picked. James? One and five. One and five, James has picked. All right, then. We're hoping that inside those envelopes is seven dollars. Okay, let us reveal envelopes four and envelopes five and let's see how we're going inside there is two dollars what's inside five another two dollars you've got four dollars now there's twos and ones there if there's one of each in those envelopes you get the car if there's two ones in that envelope each, you miss out. So, I'll make you another deal. I've offered you the aquarium. I'll add to that aquarium curtain number three. Let's have a look what's behind curtain number three. It's 
the Norma Jean sofa. Sit back into this generous three-seater with stylish fabric and extra comfy design. This sofa comes from Country Design and is valued at $1,499. How much was that again, please, Carl? $1,499. Plus the aquarium, another $500. That's $2,000 worth of prizes. Plus, you know what I might do? I'm feeling kind of generous here. I'm pulling out one, two... $300 in cash. Hang on to that. Carmen doesn't want to go near it. Hang on to it and feel it. It's good for you. It's money. Now, come over here. The doctor's checking her out. Is she having a bit of a stress attack issue, James? Calm down, Carmen. Be calm. 300 in your hand. An aquarium and the furniture to cut out of here. Or do you want to go for the car? What are you going to do? <laughs> Give the car a burn, she says. Let's have a look at what's in envelope number one, please, Julie. Open that one up, and there is a dollar. It all comes down to envelope number two. If there's two dollars in envelope number two, you've got a $19,500 car. I've offered you 300 cash, the aquarium, and the furniture. Hold your hand out again, Carmen. It's time for some stress. Count it with me, gang. This is 400, Five, six, six, one more, hundred dollars plus the aquarium, plus the furniture. If there's a $2 note in there, James, you've got the car. If there's a $1 note, you dip out 50-50 chance at this stage. That's the odds. You want the car or you're gonna take 700 cash and the aquarium and the furniture. What will they do? Go for the car. They've both decided to go for the car. We'll keep the aquarium. We'll keep the furniture. We'll keep 700... What if I gave you $800 cash? Well, that's was there at the beginning. How many twos? There were four twos. And three ones. 800 is my last offer. What are you going to do? Go on. You make the decision. Oh, we'll go for the car. We'll... They want to go for the car. All right. Nothing doing. 800 is gone. Aquarium's gone. Furniture's gone. Open it up. If there's two dollars, I've got a brand new car. What is it? It's one dollar. I'm sorry, guys. We'll make sure you get a very nice prize. Where was the other? There was a two dollar note right there. Thank you very much for playing. Let's make a deal. I get a great consolation prize. See you later. We'll be back after this break. What was in here? I'm... He is a friend to many, an inspiration to most, and a treasure to all. Man, that's rude. To honor the chairman of the board's 75th birthday, we present a birthday bash you'll never forget. Sinatra 75, 8.30 tonight. Excuse me, can you see a butterfly? Thank you, and welcome back to... All right, time to do just that. I'm looking for two guys who have wallets. Who's got a wallet here? If you got a wallet? Come on up and let's make a deal. Have you got a wallet over there? Come on over here and let's make a deal. All right. Your name is? Claude. Claude. And what are you? 50 cent coin. Oh, you're made of money, aren't you? That's terrific. Okay, face the front and we've got? Brett. Brett, uh, I'm a bit puzzled, mate. What are you? Prince's Highway. The Prince's Highway. <laughs> Good outfit. I like that very much. Okay. You're looking a little bit run down, mate. <laughs> just a joke, just a joke. All right, guys, I'll give you $100 each if you let me look inside your wallets. Let's have a look at yours first, Claude. What's in there? Now, you can open it up. And let me give you 100 to have a look inside yours too, Brett. I want you to tell me how much money's in there. How much money you got in there, Claude? Oh, my God. Look how much money this guy's got. You don't need to come on, let's make it. How much would you say, a rough estimate, how much is in there? Hundred. $500. And how much have you got, Brett? About 200 About 200 All right, you keep that 100 and sit down, Claude. You don't need us at all. Thanks very much. <laughs> Brett, boost up that wallet, mate. Here's an extra 200 to throw in there. Okay, there you go. You got $300. It is a recession. $500. I don't believe that. How do you get in here? Okay. You got $300 there, Brett. You want to keep that 300 
Or do you want to trade it for Julie's floor box over there? What's he going to do, gang? The Prince's Highway. The box. The box. He's taking the box. Good idea? Yeah. I'll take the 300 back. Thanks a lot, Brett. Let's see what... Oh, yeah. Let's see what you're taking home. What have you got in there? It's a barbecue. Yes, Brett, it's the Weather Genius 2. Generous size, feed the family or an army. So good it's an outdoor gourmet entertainment center from Joe's Barbecues. Valued at $1,500. Wow. Very nice prize, the Joe's Barbecue. Terrific little units they are too. All right, do you want to hang on to that barbecue, Brett? It's mobile, you can run it over yourself or whatever. Or do you want to trade it for the small box that Paula has? What do you want to do? A small box for the barbecue. How much is that worth? How much is the barbecue worth again, please, Carl? 1,500. 1,500. The barbecue. He's going to hang on to that barbecue. All right, let's see what you passed up in the small box. Show them, and it is. This Olympus combination includes Pearl Court, a transcriber, 10 cassettes, and tape eraser. Now you can keep track of all lectures and meetings from data prints, valued at $1,030. You happy with your choice, Brett? Very happy, thanks. Okay, thanks for playing. Let's make a deal. Hey, if you're driving home, watch out for this guy. He could be under you. Next is the big deal. Can't wait. Good afternoon. In the face of Australia's record unemployment level, Treasurer Keating today apologised to those hurt by economic... We'll receive a delicious box of chocolates from Dow Lee and this lovely gourmet basket filled with a variety of fresh foods along with the Let's Make a Deal shirt from Sender Basket. And now, it's back to Vince Sorrenti. Welcome back, gang. I'm looking to make a quick deal with you. Jump on up. Your name is? Brad. Brad? Brad, what planet are you from, Brad? Earth. <laughs> Earth? Got a boiled egg? No. How about your head, maybe? Could you say, uh, got any uh, bread on you? No. I'll give, you have? I got a wallet, but... No, no, that kind of bread. Edible bread. You know, on this planet, we, uh, you are really cut up. Have you got a nail? Yep. I'll give you $50 for a nail. Out comes from his head. Very painful. $50. Thanks for playing. Let's make a deal. All right. Must be big deal time. Behind door number one, or door number two, or door number three is tonight's big deal. How much was it worth again, Cole? Tonight's big deal, Vince, is worth $4,795. Nice one. Nice one. All right. Let's ask Brett, who won the barbecue. Do you want to trade that for the big deal? The Prince's Highway does. Over he comes. Julie, who won the silverware, do you want to trade that for the big deal? You do? Okay, come on over here and let's play for it. All right. The Prince's Highway versus Carmen Miranda. What a showdown. Must be television. All right, Brett. You were first here. Where's the big one? One, two, or three? One. 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 The finger went in the mouth, Italian still. Like, one, says Brett. Okay, Julie, two or three, the big deal. Two. Julie says two. All right, Julie, let's have a look at what you're taking home behind door number two. Tell them, Cole. Julie, we begin this deal by packing. Here's a set of fantastic Stanford Ecolax soft-sided luggage, including two suitcases and carry bag made from sturdy nylon materials from Stanford, Australia, valued at $370. And take it away to the Hunter Valley. Two people will enjoy a luxurious weekend in the peaceful surrounds of this favorite getaway. Staying in top accommodation at the Hunter Resort, valued at $220. And while you're there, take yourself on the champagne flight. Imagine flying high across the beautiful terrain in your own hot air balloon. Indulge yourself with the ultimate extravagance, valued at $350 from Balloons Aloft, bringing the total of this deal to $940. That's a very nice prize, Julie. Do you like wine? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, well, go up there and get blind in the balloon anyway. Give her a round of applause. She's taking that home. All right, Brett. You chose door number one. Let's see what you're getting. What's the Princess Highway going to drive off with? It is. 
Brett, you won a luxury package. We begin by providing the best in fragrances for men and women with the Salvador Dali range. Men will love the unique fragrance, which is the essence of Dali. And women will recognize the distinctive tones of frankincense, all presented in the exquisite Dali design bottle from fine fragrances valued at $760. And then spoil yourself in your new spa. The Alpha Home Therapy Spa is the ultimate in luxury. Relax those tired muscles in the privacy of your own home from Alpha Spas. Valued at $1,550, Brett, your deal is worth $2,310. Brett, you've done very well there. Get in that spa. We'll get you a few slippery when wet signs for the road. Hang on a sec. No one got the big deal behind three. Tell us about it anyway, Cole. Vince, our big deal tonight is the Olivetti Personal Computer. Featuring floppy disk drive with powerful memory and including mouse software and training packs to get you up and running from Olivetti. It's valued at $4,795. All right, no one got the big deal, but you bet you guessed it, gang. Tomorrow night there'll be another one. Have I got a deal for you then? See you later. Good night. Come on, Brett, let's check it out. The world's greatest entertainer of the last three decades, the chairman of the board, stars in a showbiz salute you wouldn't want to miss. Frank Sinatra's 75th, a brilliant Channel 10 special presentation tonight at 8.30. Next, the Channel 10 Eyewitness News with Eric Walters. This is a Fremantle International production in association with Ken, the Entertainment Network. Carl Mooney speaking. Tomorrow on Good Morning. Welcome to Funniest People. Yes, this week we'd like to start with something artistic. Yeah, and just to prove the old adage that people are at their best when they've got their backs to the walls, here's something for them. This is what we call water art. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, here's someone who doesn't just listen to the radio, he thinks he is one. Hi, I'm Tony Nasso, and I've just bought a new radio, and I just want to check it out, so I'm going to switch it on. Ding it on, then. Big it up, big it up, big it up. Are you ass bosses? Get that night. It's a setback for your country. Bombs and trenches all in a row. Hello, world. This is John Laws. Okay, first of this next bunch of acts is a woman with her own solution to the shoes that just won't fit. Hi, my name is Rachel Hayward, and uh, I would like to talk about how uncomfortable women's shoes are. 
they tend to squish the toe together, and uh, that makes walking uncomfortable. So I've adapted. As you can see, you just place the, the shoe on the floor, lift up the, the middle toe, leave it out, and there you have it. Enough toe room for all toes. Hi, I'm Brett from Seven Hills. I'm here to do a spoon show for ya. I know you all know the fly. La, la. What about a koala? <coughs> what about an alien? <coughs> Check out Madonna. Speaking of Madonna, using my magical spoon, I will attempt to show you via satellite exactly what Madonna's doing right at this very moment. Let's have a look, shall we? Well, we are looking at that. She's in the shower. Like a virgin. This is my impersonation of a bug's first encounter with a car. Now here we have another great talent. Get the pass and see if you can do this. Break these four strands of spaghetti, a veritable meal for a family. Nose. Please. Oh? Yes! I will now attempt to break five strands of spaghetti with my nose. This has never been done before. Oh? Oh? <laughs> it cannot be done. <laughs> I tried five strands. How'd you go? Well, it couldn't be done. Did you try it with uh, lasagna or anything like no, that? No, 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 no. You didn't no, cook no. them first before? No, look, if you're going to try spaghetti, why not try fettuccine or cannelloni? But you didn't, can't cook it first? No. That's the rules. All right, we'll be back after this uh, break with more funny people. <laughs> At least we feel safe walking the streets. We've got our watchdog. <laughs> Welcome back to Funniest People. And this next man took his place in front of our cameras to show us yet another strange talent. He can talk backwards, and that is not easy. There's more to just reversing the letters. To really talk backwards, you have to reverse the sounds. Have a look at this. <laughs> Yet there be pass. Ooh, you yet there be pass. Okay, not that amazing yet, but we will run the tape backwards and work out what he was singing and also watch the stuff he was throwing away, which is positive proof that he wasn't faking it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dear. Happy birthday to you, and many more wonderful. Fantastic. This is a great party trick. But I mean, you wouldn't want him to come to your birthday cake because every time he breathed in, he'd light the candles. <laughs> You're killing me, baby. You're killing me. You know. There is no simpler form of comedy than Simple Minds. Hi, I'm Damien. And I'm Joe. And we hate each other. See? Hi, I'd like to do an impression of those little troll dolls you win at carnivals. <laughs> an impression of a supermarket barcode scanner. of a seagull in flight. Not pretty. <laughs> Amazing stuff, really. Well, as you know, our Australian acts are competing for prizes, and each week's prize winner is in the running for our fantastic major prizes. 
The third prize will be a collection of Hoover household goods. Hoover built to outperform and outlast. The second prize is a seven-day Mediterranean cruise courtesy of La Palma Cruises and Caris Tours. Olympic Airways will fly two lucky people to Athens to join the cruise of a lifetime. And our major grand final prize is a fabulous Mazda Protégé. A spacious four-door family car combining the multi-award winning style of the Mazda 323 with the latest in safety features. Powered by a high-performance 1.8-litre engine, intelligent design and flair are what set the Mazda Protégé apart. you and your mates to amaze and to amuse us. Yeah, we, uh, we took our cameras down to the Billy the Pig Hotel where they told us they were going to do a little science trick with an empty tea bag and a naked flame. Now please don't try this at home. As you'll see from this next clip, it only works in the hands of the experts. So let's just park our rocket up and see how she goes. Now, aided by my technical assistant, Ben, I have one I made earlier. Because it's easy. Okay, now then girls, this is... <gasps> This is going better. Okay, right then, folks. The question is, which end of the rocket did NASA like? The top end or the bottom end? <laughs> top, what do you think, top, Barry? I think top. Oh, no, the bottom. I think the bottom. No, no, the no, bottom. No, 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 no. Let's try the, the top and see. So, let's give it a countdown, guys. Go nine, ten, nine, nine, eight, 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 seven, eight, six, six, five, nine, four, three, nine, two, one. Nine, two, one. Nine, oh, it's not going to go again. There we go, folks. So if you've got a better experiment that doesn't set fire to you and your friends, come down and see us sometime and let us know about it. Goodbye from Billy's. <laughs> That's a deliverance there. Remember, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be funny. Yeah, you and your friends or your workmates can win a Motorola mobile phone from Harvey Norman Miranda by calling us on this number and telling us what it is that you do. Now, this first young man proves that you can do anything with creative accountancy. Okay. Hello, my name is Chris. And you can see I have ten fingers here, but when I count them, I'll have eleven. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, plus five equals eleven. Hey, is this where I see my goggles? Oh, there they are! Ladies and gentlemen, watch carefully as my cousin presents three tumbrils. One, two, three. Do you want me to be hunchback? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> this is my impression of a kid seeing more McDonald's during an earthquake. <laughs> jumps for joy all the time. Welcome back. Yes. We've all seen tennis players jump the net at the end of a match, yeah. but table tennis players? Yeah, so, I mean, it's easier than you think. You could just hop up on the table, or you could uh, do what this guy does. <laughs> Adrian Murata, U12 student down the other end. Wave, Adrian, please. Wave, Adrian, please. Adrian, a U12 student of the school here, about to attempt a feat never before done in this school, jumping a table tennis lengthwise. We think it's a Guinness Book of Record achievement. When you're ready, Adrian. With a bag. The crowd's going wild. <laughs> Free. After seeing that, we had to find out more about that guy, Adrian. So what we learned was that his name was Adrian, and we're a better place to start than with his mum. And as she told us, being the mother of a jumping bean has its, well, its ups and downs. Well, ever since he was six months old, he was like a jumping jack, a jumping spring. And since he started to walk, everything in his way, he'd jump over. There would be no gates open, there was always jump. Anything in his way, he'd jump. Adrian's ready, getting ready for the big jump. He looks pretty tense, but I know him very well. I know he can manage. Oh, God, he 
make this? Will it jump? Yeah. I have tried to stop him because I had always visions that he's going to fall and break his leg, but I've given up because he just never listens. As I said, anything that is in his way, he will attempt to jump it. And most times he succeeds. Now we're here down at Specs North Swimming Pool for the Great Olympic Jump by Adrian and Mariah across 25 metres across the pool. Okay, over to you, Adrian. Here we go. Break the door. Eggheads. This next guy is definitely an egghead, but smart. Well, judge for yourself. An egg. I got a year egg. I got two year egg. This one owner look like contest. This is my impression of Buddy. <laughs> he looks like that because he chases parked cars. <laughs> and the dog was born that way. Okay, now it's time for our studio audience to vote on our best Australian acts. And our first finalist tonight is Adrian the Jumper. What about a koala? Mm. What about an alien? <laughs> Check out Madonna. Check out Madonna. We'll take a break while the votes are being counted, but before we go, a woman who can't help making a pig of herself. Hi. Hi, my name is Loretta. My, my name is... My name is Loretta Finkel, but I'm, I'm sorry. I'm cel celebrating something today. It was, it was four, it was four years. It was four years ago today. I had the first pig heart transplant. It was, it was, it was a great su success. No side effects. <laughs> Did you lie? Did you blackmail the senator? Would you cheat? You're his best friend. Would you betray? Did you know it was Peter who set me up? One guy does it all. To his best friend, John Cusack and James Spader in True Colors, Sunday on 7. <laughs>
Uncle Toby's muesli bars taste so good because they've got more fruit and more nuts. As far as my kids are concerned, I just won't settle for second best. Actually, it's the Malaysia Airlines Golden Holidays book with airfare and five nights from just $1,149. Do people like Bing Lee because they have all the best brands? Yes, but there's something else. Or is it because Bing Lee salespeople really know their product? That's true too, but there is something else. So it must be the incredible low prices. Yes, but even though our advertised prices might be the lowest around, you can still get an even lower price right here in the store. At Bing Lee, you can't lose. The price can only get lower. Best advice, best price. Little angel has a secret love. Don't get caught. Such a devious boy, heavens above. Don't get caught. And she simply can't resist. The smooth shell of Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate and the irresistible creamy flowing yolk that will ultimately give them away. Don't get caught with Adolf. Cadbury Creamy and Mini Creamy. Cadbury Creamy. Walk Against Want, Sunday, March 26th. It's a great day. Walk it. Dance it. Skate it. Ride it. Hop it. Just don't skip it. Free call 1-800-034-034 now so you can walk against one. Join Community Aid Abroad in helping the world's poorest people build a better life. Just pick up your walk pack at any Community Aid Abroad shop, the body shop, or free call 1-800-034-034. Winners. And the third prize winner is uh, is Brett Gill, the Spoon Man. Congratulations, to Brett. Well done. You will receive a pair of ladies and gents classic Conqueror Sports watches. Both are resistant up to uh, 200 metres in the water. Very good prize. Congratulations. And our second prize goes to Radio Man Tony Nasso. Well done, Tony. Well done. You have won a fantastic Philips multimedia computer with CD-ROM courtesy of Rentlo. Just one of the many quality products you can ring and rent from Rentlo. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Very well done. And finally, wait for it. Tonight's first prize, the big one goes to Adrian the Jumper. Well done, mate. That includes a dryer, two refrigerators, a washing machine, as well as an Aquajet wet and dry vacuum, a turbo upright vacuum, and a double beauty handheld vacuum. This is a sensational prize, all the way from Hoover, who is built to outperform and, of course, to outlast. So well done. Fantastic. Good effort. Good agate. He left for that one. <laughs> Congratulations to all our finalists and to all our performers tonight. Remember, if you want to be on Funniest People, call us on the number you see on your screen now and tell us what you do. That brings us to the end of tonight's show. So we'll say goodnight, but before we go, we'd like to show you some funny people you'll see next week. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to... <laughs> Looking for something a little bit softer, something not so violent, something sweet, something you can really sink your teeth into, something chewy. Well, have I got one for you? Behold, a rubber band here, and a rubber band here, and it's a minty! <laughs> That's it, Lord. That's it. We're going to leave you tonight with a look at uh, some of the things that can go wrong when people are trying to be funny. Until next week. Good Thanks night. for watching. We'll see you later. Thank you. Very, very tall I will now attempt to break five strands of spaghetti with my nose. <laughs> Just what Madonna's right up to at this very second. Oh.
It cannot be done. <laughs> Gotta try. The laughs continue in Hanging with Mr. Cooper next on 7. And don't miss more fun tomorrow night from 6.30 in Full House and Family Matters. Welcome to Simply Irresistible, a show about dating, about dressing up, about meeting someone new, playing some games and hopefully finding someone who's simply irresistible. Let's go and meet our girls for tonight. <laughs> Tony, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good? You? I'm really, really yeah, well. Good. Looking forward to the show tonight? Yeah. Looking forward to finding someone special? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, have a good time anyway. Oh, Tony, <laughs> Alison and George Hello. Did I get it right? Got it right. Oh, I just went... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of close. Uh, Alison, are you craving some toasted mayonnaise right now? Uh, not at the moment, but there's no toast around either, so well, it all happens don't... around 3 a.m. Okay, well, it looks... We just have some on hand, just in case you get a craving, let us know, okay? And have fun on the show tonight. G'day, Rebecca. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Are you raring to go and uh, ready to meet someone special? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Always ready to go. <laughs> uh, I know that you like skydiving. Uh, yes, I've never been, but I'm going. You're going? <laughs> Thank goodness you came on the show before you went, you know. We could be saying, ah, oh, so, Rebecca. Um, well, have a great time on the show. Thank you. I? That's our girls. Let's go over and meet the boys. <laughs> Hiya, Brett. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good, how are you? I'm really well. You got a positive approach to tonight, Brett? Ah, I'm looking forward to it, Paul. Looking forward to it? We're looking huge. forward to you looking forward to it. <laughs> good to hear. That's yeah, good. good. Yeah. Well, mate, have fun. I'm sure you're going to have fun Thank tonight. you very much. Uh, we've got another Brett here. We've got Brett 1 and Brett 2, I think we might do. How are you, Brett? Right, thanks. Good Paul. to meet you, mate. Very good. Um, Brett, uh, you're into caving. Yeah, yeah, love that. Going underground. Right. Really? Yeah. Well, you yeah. may end up in the tunnel of love tonight. You <laughs> never know your luck, Brett. Yeah, right. Good luck tonight. Okay. Craig, how are you, mate? How are you? Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Um, you had a hard time. What happened to you in Finland? In Finland? Well, I was an exchange student over there for a year. And um, we had a few different tricks to get up to. And uh, one of them was jumping from the sauna straight into the freezing cold oh, ice. Yeah, I love that. Woof. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. It sends a tingle right through you. Yes. Ooh, let's see if we can send a tingle through you tonight, Craig. Um, they're our contestants. Let's go and play Simply Irresistible. And this is how we play our little old game. We let our contestants ask some questions of each other, play some games together so that we can all see if there's any chemistry up here, but more importantly, so our studio audience can decide on who are tonight's Simply Irresistible couple. There's one other thing, guys. It's a dress-up kind of thing I mentioned earlier. The makeover. A little later on in the show, we're going to send our contestants away and ask them to dress for an occasion. Now, guys, what you wear to that occasion is up to you. We've chosen the occasion, though. Okay, we'll look forward to seeing you looking very different later in the show. Let's play some icebreaker games right now. A little thing, I think we'll start with... Mm, let me see... Party tricks. And we might need for this... Tony, come on up here and... Brett won, I think, for party tricks. Yeah, look out, here we go. This is how we find out what you do to impress a member of the opposite sex. Okay. <coughs> Brett, your party tricks, see if you can impress Tony with it. Not very impressive there, Paul, but I'll no, give it a whirl. Go right I'll ahead, though, Brett. I'll give it a whirl. The fly. Na, na. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. And a blowfly hitting the fly screen door. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you 
impressed? <laughs> Actually, are you impressed I think by that's that? That's good. You would take this guy home to meet Mum, right? Yeah. Mum, I'd like you to meet Brett. Ah, hello! <laughs> All right, guys, take a seat. <laughs> Little chemistry there. Pretty bizarre, but still there. Okay, Brett number two. Yeah. Come on over here, Brett. Uh, it's the 90s, Brett. Women are being more assertive. Do you find that? Yeah. That yeah. they're out there, they're sort of chatting up guys. It's not guys doing it anymore. We've all become a bit wimpy, Brett. That's right, that's right. Good. I'm glad you agree with me. Because I'm going to get our girls to hit you with their best pickup line and see which one works for you. Right. Alison? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'll just get out of here. All right, all right. If you think you feel good now, just wait till you feel me. <laughs> You like that, Brett? <laughs> Thought you might. Okay, Rebecca. <laughs> Your eyes, you have gorgeous eyes. I'm mesmerized. How about a drink? Ooh, that's very nice. That's good. That's good. How about a drink? What do you think? Yes. You got one, Tony? Tony? Okay, Tony, come Tony. on. And late right. inclusion. I've got two tickets to the Crowded House concert. Don't dream it's over because your dream has just begun. Ooh. Would you like to come? Ooh. Definitely. Cool, that's definitely. definitely. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Right. Jeez, I think I'll have to go and sit down because uh, I think Tony swept me off my feet. Tony, well done. Took a while. Thanks, okay. Brett. Have a seat. Well done, guys. Okay, window shopping. Craig and Rebecca, come on up here, guys. Get up nice and close. Window shopping is about what guys and girls notice about each other, the physical things they notice. Craig, what are the three things physically you notice about a woman first? Um, I'd have to say the eyes, the smile, and I'd have to say the, the legs as well. Okay, have a, re have a look at Rebecca's eyes, smile and legs, and give her a score out of ten. A ten? Well, she's got beautiful eyes, wonderful smile and great legs. <laughs> I'll give her a nine. A nine! Okay. Okay, Rebecca. Three things you like about blokes? Um, definitely the eyes, mm. the hair, mm. and the bum. <laughs> you are doing so well, too. Okay, give us a, a score out of ten for Craig's eyes, hair, and... <clears throat> uh, the eyes, ten. The hair, eight. And, um... Seven. So overall, out of ten, he'd be a... A eight. An eight. Okay, guys. Fairly evenly matched. Take a seat. Something going on there. Okay, don't forget our studio audience will decide who are tonight's Simply Irresistible Couple. But guys, it's makeover time. Now, we want you to go away and let your imaginations run wild. Come back dressed for a masquerade ball, okay? While they're doing that, we're going to catch up with Sharon and Mario, who've already been on their date. They're going to tell us all about it when we come back in a moment. Look who's here. It's Dick Van Dyke. Go ahead, poke it. As the medicinal sleuth who just loves a good crime. A killer is in trouble. Game's over, wise guy. DEA. Bust him! The Doctor will see you tonight. The Return of Darkness's Murder on Nine. I was almost 50 when I realized I hadn't saved enough for my retirement. It was the scariest feeling I've ever had in my life. I, I was struck by the thought I could end up having to rely on the pension. That's what made me go and see AMP Financial Services. They took me through a range of products incorporating shares, property. They took me through tax and other issues and then worked out an investment plan. With that and my super, I should be able to retire comfortably. I'll still get some pension, but it won't be all I have to live on. To talk to AMP Financial Services, call 1-800-800-882. Come on, Louie! Lunch! Nah, they got that new Mortine Odalis. Ah, I can smell Mortine a mile away! But Mortine Odalis don't smell! Let's eat! Oh, clear, Louie! I couldn't smell it! That really stinks. New Mortine Odalis. More smart, more safe, Mortine. It's Big Christmas Value Time at McDonald's. Get your kids a genuine Disney doll and a cassette of Disney's greatest hits for just $7.95. That's over $30 value for just $7.95. Choose from four of your Disney favourites, but only while stocks last. 
at Captain Snooze, take home any of these beds or bedroom furniture and pay no deposit and absolutely no interest for 12 months. That's no deposit and no interest for 12 whole months. So hurry into the 12 months interest-free sale and you'll sleep better with Captain Snooze. From the most gifted craftsman in the world comes the world's most crafted gift, Victorinox. Here, everyone has a story to tell. It was horrifying. And they can't all be crazy. I think I do believe me, there is ghosts around. Welcome to the most haunted place on Earth, Norfolk Island, on The Extraordinary, tonight, 9.30 on 9. Welcome back. Our couples are backstage getting made up for their big night at the Masquerade Ball. Right now, though, a couple to tell us about their big night. Please welcome Sharon Hunt and Mario Falvo. So, guys, so the Landmark Hotel in Sydney was nice. Fantastic. How was the date, Sharon? A next question. <laughs> Mario, can I ask you the same? Uh, the food was fantastic. The dessert was beautiful and the view was fantastic as well, so... Oh, no good. mention of Sharon there, okay. No, of course we had a good time together. We sent a film <laughs> a crew along to check on all this, and we're going to look at your home movies right now. Oh, okay. Here we are. Babe. See, there's the food. There's Mario yeah, eating. As I he said. did a lot of eating, Sharon. Yes, lots of eating. He, lots um, of eating. Didn't stop, actually. Oh, more eating. Not, yeah. I think the only time he stopped eating was when he had to say a very Talk. brief... Yeah, <laughs> very, very... Just kept chopping the food down. <laughs> What's this? You got lost in the stairwell, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Sharon wanted to be romantic and um, see if you she wish. was a, a top deck. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're looking for it, we couldn't find it, we couldn't get there, so we had to go all the way down the Seventeen floors. You wish I heard Sharon say when you're talking about romance. That, listen, there is a little gap between you guys. You could get a little closer there. Well, yeah. Okay. Now, well, you could get you know, further if the cat is right. We could. Uh, obviously, not a lot going on on this date, huh? No, not at all. No. Oh. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Well, Mario, we asked Sharon what she thought of you on the mm -hmm. date. Did she say to me, he's a sleaze, always on the prowl, He's 80 kilos of red-blooded Italian stallion. <laughs> or what date? All he did was eat all night. Well, um, I didn't eat all night. I ate most of the night. <laughs> um, I think the interpretation of sleaze might be incorrect. I think it's sociable and always on the prowl. That might be the line. I'd have to say that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you say, Mario. What did you say, Sharon? He's a sleaze yeah, and he's always on the prowl. Thanks. <laughs> Tell us why. Tell Thanks. us what happened. The sleaze, um, he was just... Sociable. Sociable with everyone else bar me, and um, that wasn't really... <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're a little too sociable, oh, there, Mario. Really not. When did the date start to fall apart? I mean, you've obviously started out okay. When you when started did... eating. When you started eating. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, he apparently did a lot of. Uh, um, Sharon, we asked Mario to describe you physically. Did he say to me, <laughs> she's trim, taut and terrific? Six out of ten, but I didn't see it all. Or 10 out of 10, I've got x-ray vision. <laughs> Mario being the super sleaze as I know him, would want a, the 10 out of 10 and the x-ray oh, vision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Mario? Dig yourself a little deeper S into the hole. 6 out of 10, but I didn't see it all. Oh. <laughs> Right, call me, call me, call me weird or psychic or something, but I don't think you're ever going to see any more than you've already seen, Mario. Sharon, despite all this lack yep. of chemistry and Mario being a sleaze, sociable, <laughs> sociable, that's would it, you, right. would you uh, date him again? Would you ever go to the pictures, maybe, or you could go to Sizzler and you could stay there all night. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, uh, we asked Sharon for her final impression of you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did she say, ask me again when he gets out of short pants? Mario's favourite person is Mario. Or I was looking for an ace, and he's a joker. Oh, I wasn't in my short pants, I was in my undies, so I'd have to say... Um... <laughs> um, oh, that's a tough one. I'd have to, I'd have to go... Um... My favourite person, yeah, myself. How's that? My what do you say, Sharon? His favourite person's definitely. Yeah, there you go. I think that I know. So no hope, no future for this at all, huh? No, Not no for us his couch. <laughs> Unless you want to feed him all night. That's right. That's right. Okay, guys, for coming back and telling us about your disaster, <laughs> we've got these gifts for you. 
Yes, Sharon and Mario, when it comes to barbecues, the Weber Master Touch Kettle is the superior choice for charcoal grilling enthusiasts, featuring a high-capacity, no-rust ash catcher, a hands-free tuck-away lid holder, the patented one-touch cleaning system, and a five-year limited warranty. This kettle will turn your friendly get-together into an all-out party. From the masters of charcoal grilling, Weber, and simply irresistible. Mario, Mario come on. I love that. It's oh, great. I know. I lose it. Mario <laughs> sitting here saying, barbecues. oh, barbecue. <laughs> Gee, I could cook some stuff on that, Sharon. <laughs> I don't think you've seen Sharon at the barbecue, though. Thanks, guys. We're going to catch up with our couples in a moment, fresh from their makeover for their night out at the Masquerade Ball. We'll be back in a moment with that. <laughs> Australia faces the fury of Sri Lanka. The first test, 120 Friday, live on 9. The Chic. The Antique. The Happening Market. The Rocks Market. At Freshers, we believe everyone deserves a bonus at Christmas. So, we're giving away Christmas bonuses store-wide. Like buy this home theatre package, get a free CD player. Buy this computer, get a free colour printer. There are Brash's Christmas bonuses on TVs, hi-fis, VCRs, computers, camcorders, CDs and videos in every Brash's store. So if you want your Christmas bonus, watch out for this. Only at Brash's. Oh, and have a very Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. It's Big Christmas Value Time at McDonald's. Get your kids a genuine Disney doll and a cassette of Disney's greatest hits for just $7.95. That's over $30 value for just $7.95. Choose from four of your Disney favourites, but only while stocks last. I'm a tyre expert. And I'm an expert on brakes. And my expertise is suspension. In other words, I'm your Bridgestone expert. Now that's confidence with a capital B. Confidence with a B? I would like to announce that this week's jackpot in six from 38 pools is now... Nearly one and a quarter million dollars. Don't forget to pop your pools in. It's the smart choice. There's a big difference between something that's cheap and something that's really good value. Hairs for simply beautiful hair that won't cost a fortune. Welcome back. We are getting ever closer to our audience decision on who will be tonight's Simply Irresistible couple, but we're going to see our couples now transformed. Let's just have a look at the boys as they were before they went away. There they are. Okay, now they're dressed up for a masquerade ball, so welcome them back. Brett, Brett and Craig. Come on now. Well, 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 well. Look what you've done to yourselves. <laughs> oh, don't take your face off. Well, half of it. You're all falling to pieces already. Uh, Superman, right? That's Brett, right. two. Brett, one. Don Juan. Don Juan. Yeah, Michael. Okay, and of course, the Phantom of the Opera. You bet. On the end. Okay, guys. Let's have a little look now at the girls and what they looked like before they went away. Here they are. Yeah. Welcome them back now, though. Made up for the masquerade ball. A big night out. Tony, Allison, and Rebecca. <laughs> girls looking good. I'd like to introduce you to Don Juan, Man of Steel. And uh, Phantom of the Opera, of course, he's, he's got half his face in his hand at the moment, but <laughs> how do you feel, girls? Fine. You ready to get down to the, the business end of the show? 
Definitely. Okay, what we want to do now is find out who fancies who. And the way we're going to do that, Tony, is ask you... <laughs> You're right there, Alison? Okay, cool. Lucky your hair didn't come off with that. Um, Tony, pick a guy that you fancy and ask him something that you really, really want to know. Brett. <laughs> Brett one or two? That's one there. Yeah. Superman is two. One. one. Brett one. one. Okay. If you were to have anything in the world, what would it be? Well, you could forget your holidays, your cars, your expensive houses, but at the end of the day, it'd just make me, just make you number one. <laughs> That'll be.